and we're back with Let's Play Donkey Kong Land. Today is level 1, 2, freezing fun. A nice level, even though we're in the dead set middle of the jungle. Don't pay attention to that, it doesn't make any sense, don't even try and understand it. One thing which you may have just noticed then, as I just noticed and just came to my mind, when you jump on enemies in this game, for some reason, you speed up instead of slow down, so it's completely different to... damn it. It's completely different to Donkey Kong Country in that regard. I don't know why they made it do that. Maybe it's just a, something with the programming for the original <coughs> Game Boy. Oh my god, my cough is bad today. Anyway, bonus R. Uh, Aw, oh, damn it. I was not paying attention. Ah, I got enough lights. Uh, yeah. I'm pro jumping. Oh, wow. And there's our first death. And I completely forgot what I was talking about before I completely started failing completely. Um, what else is there to say about this game? Oh yes, jumping on enemies makes you go faster. It's stupid and I don't know why. Another thing is roll jumping off the edge of a cliff is changed. And by changed I mean it's completely and utterly broken. Because when you roll off a cliff in this game you lose most of your momentum. In fact, rolling makes you lose most of your momentum anyway. I don't know why. And just get the lives, because I can. I like having a lot of hearts. And uh, as you can see there, roll jumping, not a good idea, as I just tried to demonstrate and failed by failing. Actually, I succeeded by failing. I'm, I'm going to stop rambling on. And I should probably stop paying attention to this. Anyway, roll into the naughty, because... Oh, don't roll into the naughty. I'm not used to playing games on a computer, sorry. I am playing this on the computer using Visual Boy Advance emulator. So, plugs for emulators there. Where do you get it? Oh, I'm not telling you because I see the linking you to it. And boom, boom. I remember when I originally got this game for the Game Boy Color. Damn it! Second time. Second time I failed that. And not Game Boy. Uh, yeah, I, th I don't think I ever played this on the black and white Game Boy. Now, I can remember when I first got this game for Game Boy Color about a year ago. <laughs> oh, it's this thing. Okay, anyway, time to stop failing and time to start winning. Okay, let's go. Get the life balloon because I need them at this stage. Boom. Yes, there. Damn. Sorry, I am not paying attention at all. This is quite horrid of me, actually. I'm better in Donkey Kong Country Returns, for God's sakes. And that game is much harder than this one. This game is hard, I must say. Like, compared to, say, Donkey Kong Country. But that's mainly because of broken parts of this game. Like, I'm... Uh, oh, I want the... Uh, screw it. Like, one part of this game that is pretty damn broken and is quite annoying... Ah, mm? uh, nearly fell off. Is the and oh my god! Yeah, one part of this game that is broken is when you get hit, you may not get to use your second Kong because if you get hit, when your guy flat, like gets knocked back, like see how he gets knocked back there? I did not just get hit on purpose to demonstrate that. I actually didn't. I just suck. Anyway, when you get knocked back like that, damn it! Sorry about this. This is quite bad of me. I'm more so focusing on talking than anything, but whatever. Anyway, when you get knocked back from getting hit by an enemy, damn it! <laughs> if your Kong does not land on a solid platform, then you just die. You don't get to use your second Kong. The only exception to this is if you were holding onto a rope when you died. In that case, your Kong will just respawn on wherever you were holding onto the rope. But apart from that, <laughs> you get hit and fall off a cliff. Too bad. You're screwed. And another thing is, when you fall in this game, like when you jump off a cliff or something and you drop down, you fall faster than the camera pans. So if you fall too far, it doesn't matter if there was a platform beneath you at some stage beneath you, you will still die. Which gets really annoying because this game does have a few levels where, yes, finally half of the point. This game does have quite a few levels that focus on mainly going upwards. Namely the ship levels and some of the cliff levels if I remember correctly. So that does get very, very annoying for those. I'm not sure if that rule still applies to Donkey Kong Lands 2 and 3 though, which I will be let's playing. 
is, if you look at my profile, I think you'd know that. But honestly, who does that for YouTube? So, I'm not sure whether that rule still applies to those two games. I've barely played Donkey Kong Land 1, I mean, sorry, 2 and 3, but I've played the hell out of this one because I actually find it alright. And there we go, end of the level. This game does have quite solid levels, it's just unfortunate that technical limitations do wreck a fair bit of this game for you. Anyway, that is the second level complete after much hardship of me dying constantly, sorry about that. On the next episode we will do level 1, 3, so I'm trying to remember its name, Simeon Swing, so I will see you guys then.